I think uh, the focus is just on ourselves and, um, and obviously Missouri. I mean, there's a you know a lot of talk about what could happen in the East and all that kind of stuff. But for us, we just have to focus on ourselves and focus on this game on Saturday. And um, if we do that, then you know, I'm optimistic that things will work out. How do you not look at what's going on in the Florida and mm -hmm. things that's going on in the East? Yeah, I definitely think it's our you know instinct and like. Uh, you're, you know, you want to do that. You want to say, okay, if they lose this, they win this, you know, and we do this. But when you start doing all that, you kind of lose focus on what's important. And then for us, that's getting better today at practice, tomorrow, and the next day, and then, you know, beating Missouri on Saturday. So that's all we can control. And so if we, as a team, come together and just focus on that, I think good things will happen. Couldn't you use that as motivation for, you know, more intensity at practice, knowing that, uh, Hey, so and so has this problem, and so and so might lose here. Yeah, know? I mean, it seems like it could go both ways. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think obviously it's going to be in everyone, you know, back of everyone's mind, you know, all that, you know, what could happen and whatnot. But I mean, if you're, you know, a self-motivated player, and, and you know that, you know, our, a lot of our goals are still on the table. You know, like you said, with some things that have to happen, but it all starts with this game on Saturday. You know, we have to win this game, and and I think if we just put all our attention and focus on that, we should be okay. When you went back and looked at the film from the Tennessee game, mm -hmm. uh, during the game it looked like there were a lot of missed tackles. Mm -hmm. What did you see when you went back and looked at the film? Yeah, it was tough to watch, um, you know, because when we play when we play good sound defense and, and tackle and, and do all the things that we're taught to do and supposed to do, we're a good defense. But then when you try to arm tackle and we don't do the have the proper leverage or do things, you know, that's it was tough to watch because I mean we. We had way too many missed tackles, too many missed assignments, lack of communication. I mean, it was loud, you know, it was a you know, fun venue, but that's no excuse. So, you know, it was tough to watch, but we've made a lot of corrections and, um, you know, we're really emphasizing on what we can correct as a Georgia defense, not what other teams can do. How much are you emphasizing just maintaining them? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that was the first time, you know, all year we probably faced some real adversity kind of, you know, being up and going down and having to do the fourth quarter drive. You know, we won the first, you know, four games and then, you know, lost pretty bad to Alabama. So, you know, as a team, you have to grow and mature together. And, you know, we'll learn from all those experiences and be better off for it. You talk about correcting those mistakes. Do you feel like as a player, when you have a loss like that, you're more apt to go in and say, we need to correct this, whereas if you guys would have won, it was, you know, it was good yeah, I mean, I think after a loss, everything, you know, gets magnified. You're like, okay, well, if you had made that play, if you would have done that, you know, who knows what could happen, especially with it being a one-possession game. Um, so, but yeah, like we said, you know, Coach Pruitt tells us, you know, every week, you know, it's on us. You know, we're going to come in on Monday and watch the film, and it's not going to be on what the other team does. It's going to be on what we do. And like you said last week, we missed too many tackles and had too many missed assignments to win the game. What are you looking forward to most about playing a night game on Saturday? Is, does that change your attitude towards the game? Is that something that you guys look forward to? Yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I think night games, you know, reminds everyone about high school, Friday Night Lights. Um, you know, a lot of times those noon games are a little tough to get up and get going for. But, um, you know, it's going to be fun. I think the crowd's going to be electric. And, um, I mean, it's going to be a really fun atmosphere. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Are there any problems that you might, that you can think of that might arise from a night game? No, no problems. I think, you know, you are sitting around the hotel, you know, a lot on Saturday, you know, but when we played South Carolina, our coaches did a good job getting us moving. We, uh, you know, went outside, got some fresh air. So, I mean, they're going to do a good job of that, but it's it's fun. It's going to be a good atmosphere. Got time for one more? Do you guys need to tackle to the ground more? I mean, in practice? Mark, yeah, Mark Rick said you guys thought a lot. So, yeah. Uh, does that train you to thud and not actually go to the ground? Yeah, that's kind of... I mean, that's kind of a, I feel like a defensive debate, you know, between, you know, coaches. Like, I feel like in high school, you were live tackle every period, you know. We didn't care about the quarterback or anything like that. And then you get to college, and especially, you know, here in the pros, you know, there's barely any tackling, you know. It's just because you want to keep guys as healthy as you can. And that's the kind of, that's the tricky thing. You don't want to hurt anybody. But when you thud, when you thud a runner in practice, if you truly have a good thud, then it's an easy tackle if you want to take him down. But I do think in practice we need to focus on more of like the, the like less of the arm tackles where you think you can get away with it because it's a thud period and just really wrap them up and 
to know that you would have gotten to tackle if it was live. So I think that's probably got to be an emphasis for our defense and probably a lot of defenses because I know that's how a lot of people practice.